Flores rocking a wide fifth. Gentleman's bet trying to pick up the leaders now within five lengths of the lead, but only a quarter mile to go. Some of the parts leading. Go blue or go home off the far turn by just a length. Go blue or go home takes aim on the leader. Some of the parts toward the inside. Gentleman's bet is third. Laugh track grandstand side is in the fourth position. Occasional view and then Laurie's rocket. Final furlong. Some of the parts hanging top. Leading go blue or go home in the second spot. Deep stretch. Some of the parts trying to repeat in the stall. Keenan Ogden Phoenix. Some of the parts in Leandro Gonsalves to take it. Lap track was up for second. Go blue or go home in third. And gentleman's bet was home fourth. Back to back wins for some of the parts. Number 11 in the Stahl Keenan Ogden Phoenix. Some of the parts owned by Clarevich Stables Incorporated and William H. Lawrence, trained by Tom Amos, Leandro Gonsalves, the jockey. Some of the parts, a four-year-old son of Spitestown, out of Enjoy the Moment by Slew's Royalty, bred in Kentucky by Farfellow Farms Limited. Trophy presentation upcoming. And now the trophy presentation for the Stahl Keenan Ogden Phoenix, Grade 3, a Breeders' Cup win and you're in challenge race, representing Stahl Keenan Ogden are Mr. Bill Lear, Stahl Keenan Ogden Managing Director, Ms. Shannon Arvin and Mr. Bob Watt. The time, one minute, nine and two-fifth seconds for the six furlongs. Congratulations to the connections of some of the parts. Some of the parts in front all the way to score for the second year in a row in the Phoenix, trained by Tom Amos, ridden by Leandro Gonsalves. Talk about uh, the ride first, uh, Leandro. The gate opened, and you were out. It almost looked like you beat the gate you got out so quickly. Yeah, you know, he did. He's very fast. He's very sharp come out of the gate, and... You know, he's got the first jump, and second jump was already clear. Everybody else were just dropped in, and when I got him to relax, you know, that's, that was the plan, and it worked out pretty good today. There was a lot of other speed in there. Were you surprised you got the lead that easily? Yes, you know, I was just concerned about the break, but I, he had a lot of speed, too. He's very fast, and he's been training very well. He's back in, you know, in his good form. So, you know, I know he's a bunch of speed in the race, but I know I have a horse to be in the front, too. Congratulations. And Tom, the horse, loves this racetrack. Now three for three. Hadn't won a race since this race last year, but, boy, he was impressive today. Yeah, you know, I made a grave error with him last spring. I brought him back too quickly, and I tried to do too much with him before I ran him. It cost me, and uh, that's how training goes. When you make those kind of mistakes, you know, you're going to sit and wait, which is what we did, and uh, he came back really good this year. I, I told the group that was with me when we were getting ready to watch the race, I said, this is the most athletic horse I've ever trained. He's the quickest horse I've ever trained out of the gate, and he really showed that today. Um, I, all the credit goes to the horse, and uh, not a bad piece of handicapping by you. You picked him on top. <laughs> Thank you. Real quickly, the Breeders' Cup, you did it last year, ran fourth. Right. Well, I have to talk to the owners about that, but um, if it's my vote and my vote alone, it's on to California. Thank you, Tom. Some of the parts, second year in a row, he takes down the Phoenix.